there. Welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today I've changed up where I'm filming and I'm actually filming in front of my closets and this is my cutting table. I figured I would pull out one of my quilts because there were so many comments over one of the other quilts I showed. This is a quilt that I made quite a long time ago and it was actually in McCall's Quilting. Um, McCall's Qu Quilts published it. And the pattern is actually still available online for free. So I wanted to tell you what that was all about. I was really, really proud of it when I got an um, email from McCall's asking for me to send the quilt that they wanted to publish it. So I'm pretty proud of it. It was all done with motor fabrics and it's quite old. So I don't believe any of the fabrics are still available, but I thought I would show it anyhow. Today, I'm going to open up my monthly subscription to Quilter Stash Box. Now, Quilter Stash Box is a monthly subscription that they send to me, and what is in it is all different kinds of quilting things. You, um, and it's always a surprise, and to me, that's one of the best parts about this is every single month I get a surprise box filled with different things that have to do with quilters. So I get to try out new notions, I get to see new patterns, all different things. So I really enjoy it and I love sharing it with you guys. So here goes nothing, I'm gonna open my box for this month. You don't know how hard it's been. This box has been sitting in my house for a week plus and I couldn't get a chance to film it and I am very very good about not opening it till I can do it with you so here we go excuse the paper noise here we go oh, I love the front of the boxes it has their logo on it I just think it's really nice there's a lot of nice little touches with this box every month so you open it up and here's the tissue paper. That's how it comes. And here we go. Oh, this one says, we inside there's always a little letter. This one says, we hope you're ready for some fun this month. Enclosed is a thread play by Libby Lehman. Libby will show you great techniques for using your domestic machine to create stunning thread work on your quilts and wall hangs. You'll read about various types of threads, different weights, and we have included three threads to help you get started. Oh, cool. Oh, this is neat. I've never um, tried to quilt on my domestic machine. Of course, I have a great big huge long arm over here to my side, but I've wanted to try to do it. Oh, here's a Madeira rayon thread and i think we can always learn more about threads very very pretty silvery gray color blue gray and then a great bright bright yellow and this is a gutterman and this is a full 100 percent cotton thread and the last one is a sulky blendable and these are kind of cool because they have a nice variegation to them and I really do like variegated threads. I tend to use a lot of it in my long arm quilting. So that was number one. There's a cut loose press pattern. Have any of you ever used a cut loose press pattern? They are really nice. Um, I'm gonna reach down and grab that. Oh, it's a laptop bag. Here we go. These are great patterns. They come on one sheet. And um, when I started the club, when I got my first subscription, in my, inside my first subscription was a um, page dividers so that you could categorize all of your patterns. And when I get to showing you how I've organized the bookshelves behind my long arm, oh, excuse me, I need a sip of coffee. Oh, much better. When I get to showing you my organization behind my long arm, which is over here to my left, 
um, you will see how I organize my patterns. And I really like the fact that they've done this. It kind of helps you get into the groove of putting things where they are because there's nothing more frustrating than looking for something and not being able to find it. So what I like about these cut loose patterns is you get a picture of the completed project. You also get a little key here that tells you the notions that go with this that are really nice to work with. And one of them is the Creative Grids Non-Slip Curved Corner Cutter Ruler. And I actually have this ruler, so that'll be nice. Tells you the project um, requirements, so what fabrics and any additional requirements are. Let's see. And then it tells you all of your cutting, um, then it tells you all of your cutting requirements. So you can cut everything up front, put it in a pile, and then go to your sewing machine and sew. So I, I really do like these patterns. They are great. And that is a really nice laptop case. They use Deco, Decor, D-E-C-O-R, bond for um, stabilization purposes to protect the laptop in there. So that's really cool. Let's see. If you've been with us for a while, you've probably get, been getting your studio organized with your 12 inch by 12 inch craft box. And that's this box here. These are great to hang on to. They're great to store your projects in, especially when you're doing things like going to one of your local sewing bees or just taking blocks to show people. Going into your local quilt shop to match up fabrics. They are great boxes. So uh, let's see. Now we want you to help get your fabric organized. So they've got a shorty fabric board for wrapping your fabrics. Oh, I've never done these before. Oh, this is cool. They've got these little, can you see them? They've got these little clips. So you push out the clips. Let's see if I can get that one. Then you take your fabric and you insert it in there and then you can wrap it and these clips help to hold it in place. Oh, cool. It says just tuck, fold, and store. Very nice. These are cool. I'm going to give these a try and see how they work. They fit perfectly on my bookcase. Then I could do pretty colors up there. Oh, and look at Libby Lehman's book. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to gaze for a few minutes. Oh, these are, oh, I wish you could see this. I'll try to insert a close-up if I can. This is beautiful zigzag stitches to applique down a star, and she tells you exactly how to do it. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, Libby Lehman does beautiful work. This is a gorgeous book. Absolutely beautiful book. It's by Brewer Publications for with Libby Lehman. Very cool. Um, after all your sewing, you might want to give your hands a little treat. Enclosed is sewing themed emery board by Creative Comfort. Oh, neat. Little emery board. That's great. I'm sticking this in my purse for my upcoming trip. Very nice. And don't miss your sassy, your so sassy button. Let's see what it is this month. Every month there's a different so sassy button. And this month is hot stuff. Little iron with a puff of steam coming out of it. Cute. Uh, let's see. And then it goes on to say that if it's your first cut, or then it goes on to say that if this is your very first box, you'll also be getting the cut loose press dividers, which I already have mine. So then it goes on to don't forget to make good use of it. And these are the labels that just peel off and stick to your box. So those are really cool. That way you can label what project is in there. You never have to scratch it out because you actually just put a little piece of paper right in there. It works great. 
Then there's something else in here. A Bowton. A May. Here I am trying to say something in French or something else that I obviously can't do. It's a magnetic snap. So it'll be perfect with this bag. Yep, it's actually one of the notions needed for this bag. And what's in here is the snaps, magnetic snaps come in two pieces. There's one piece that attaches to one side and then the second to the other side. And what you do is you insert it in between the fabric, into the fabric, and then there's a back um, cover piece that protects it and you fold these two metal prongs over sorry for the description you just fold them over and then it sticks to your bag and i put mine on the inside of my bags in between the outer fabric and the lining so that none of it shows so these are really nice i like um bowen stuff they have great stuff so we've even got our first piece that we need to do our project so this is really cool a very very nice stash box again this month I always get they always send the neatest different things I really like this let's see I'm trying to see what the finished size is I know it's here someplace but I'm trying to look for it quickly and um, folded pad 16 and a half by 10 and a half is what it looks like it's gonna end up being very very nice nice thing to protect your laptop in this thread playbook is fantastic oh i just love it it's mastering machine embroidery techniques this is really cool oh she even shows you how to go about um she even shows you how to go about oiling your sewing machine which is really great and it's with a bernina which is what i have up I love my Bernina. I just, to me, it's, it is my favorite machine. She's got some really cute tips in here. One of them has to do with your um, tomato pin cushion and how to label it so that you know um, your sizes of stuff. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like, this is what it says to do. You take your, um, here, I'll use this pin cushion to show you. This is a pin, pretend this is a tomato pin cushion. Hopefully you can see it. And what she says to do is divide it into sections, and then you can take a permanent marker, a permanent pen, like a Pigma pen, and label each section so that your embroidery needle is in one section, your hemming needles in another section, your utility needles in another section, and then that way all of your needles are labeled and you will be able to just grab one and go ahead and use it. I do use my needles for um, binding multiple times, so that's another great idea. This book is really, really cool. Very, very cool. I'm really excited to get into that. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm gonna leave a link below directly to the Quilter Stash Box website. So if you would like to order a stash box, you can just go out there and get one. I think it's fun. It's just exciting to get all different things every single month. It gives me a chance to try things out. Things like doing thread play. You know, now I have exactly what it is that I need to do some thread play on my domestic sewing machine. So I really do think it's a great, it's a great opportunity. So thanks again for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic week. I am off to, let's see, where am I going Thursday? It's Tuesday morning. On Thursday, I am flying to Idaho and then on Sunday, I am off to Alaska. So I've got a busy week coming up. But please do stay tuned. I'm hoping that I'm going to have some videos up for you while I'm gone. And I'm going to do my best to try to get some vlogging footage in so you can see some of the stuff I'm seeing. Thanks. Have a great day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.